Virgo, this is soul. And Virgo, this is your um, bi-weekly messages beginning March 11th and ending March 24th, 2019. It is for Virgo sun, Virgo moon, Virgo rising signs as well. Okay, so this is a um, another recording. Uh, I actually was shuffling your cards alive per se, and then I had um, screwed up something, so I started all over. But I kept the cards face down, and I spoke. I was speaking about the uh, shadow card energy that could play out, you know, with the rest of the energies that show up here for you uh, Virgo and this is the page of Pentacles so this is your energy in the upright position so it's an offering this could be a new job this could be a new friendship this could be a new romantic relationship or a start of a business it's a court card so it's an actual person so it could be someone younger I could be reading for a Virgo that's younger who's you know, having an interest in some type of business or finances. It could be education as well. And then they're, you know, studying uh, finances. But this is the start of something new. Uh, it's a new job, pay raise. It could be a promotion. And then your overall energy is your energy again, which is the Six of Pentacles. Okay, that's in the upright. So this is a two-week period of generosity either virgo being generous to others and helping others out it could be you know with finances and someone could be helping you out with finances but this is a balanced uh card in terms of its energy so i always say about the pentacles it represents um when they show up in the upright position stability security and um longevity so whatever this six of pentacles means for you um it's it's here for your reading okay so now and I do apologize again for having to re-record this because I was shuffling your cards and then something happened and then I had to start all over. And I hated doing that. That's the reason why I hate shuffling live um, on a regular basis. So anyway, as I stated in the last video, I had already pre-shuffled and selected a card for you from the Enchanted uh, Map Oracle deck from Colette Baron Reed. So let's see what's coming up. And I haven't looked at these cards um, since I had to re-record, I haven't looked at them. I just kept everything the way they were. And so I'm about to tell you or begin a story for you to see what unfolds for you for the next two week period of time. And do keep in mind that these are, gener you know, just general readings. Uh, you know, everything that I say is not going to apply to your situation. But if it's useful and helpful, you know, I always appreciate those comments uh, when they come through. Uh, to let me know that they are res the messages are resonating with you as long as they're kept clean. All right, so following the Six of Pentacles here, uh, representing your energy in that page of Pentacles is uh, representing your energy in that uh, energy of other Earth signs, Taurus and Capricorn, male or female. And keep in mind that the uh, page or the daughter of uh, Pentacles is a court card. So this could be someone that's... Um, that oh shit that plays out in the rest of the uh messages here for you now look at this this is the knight of pentacles so this is your energy i always like the elements to show up uh for the sign that i'm reading for and so this is you so there's this knight of pentacles the knight in shining armor in the upright position following the six of pentacles so again this could be the knight could be representing you and and you know goes back to what i was saying uh virgo about this could be a two-week period of time of helping others or others helping you this is a promotion this is definitely a job it's in uh, connection with the page as your shadow card energy that you know like i said shadow card energy sometimes may play out uh, along with the other uh, messages that come forth. So there is a job, a promotion. Someone could be, um, you know, when it comes to a promotion, you already are there working. Uh, it definitely could speak volumes for a new job altogether, but it could be a higher ranking position where you currently work. So keep that in mind with the Knight of Pentacles. Standalone, this Knight of Pentacles could be someone who helps you out uh, with some sort of finances or they're there to support you uh, with any, you know, types of, you know, finances that you may have, especially if it's related to business uh, investments or, you know, business expenditures or um, if you have any ideas in terms of doing your own business, 
um, that could be one of the um, messages that are coming forth. But in connection with this Knight of Pentacles, which also could represent female energy. So I'm connecting that depending on if the cups show up. If no cups show up, it doesn't really matter. But I'm still getting a connection here that it could be a middle-aged Virgo uh, in a relationship. Now, this is not a romantic reading, but I'm picking up that it could be a, a middle-aged uh, Virgo, male or female, connecting with a younger uh, age Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. So that's interesting. Um, but it also could be, you know, uh, a new connection in terms of a friendship. This could also represent family as well. So being in support of family members when it comes to um, their finances, your finances, or however the energy unfolds. All right. So what's coming up after the Sun of Pentacles, which is the Knight of Pentacles, Knight in Shining Armor, is OK. Now we have the Four of Wands and that's in the reverse. So. Normally, when I get the four of wands in the reverse, it means that somebody is not a happy camper. OK, now it may not be uh, all relative to um, a relationship, but it is. Let me show you what it looks like uh, in the upright position, because there's two people here. And it's, uh, you know, four of wands always represent a structure, a building, a home. Uh, it could, you know, also be um, someone wanting to move, someone wanting to relocate someone wanting to move in with someone, uh, cohabitation. Uh, but when it's, in, see, they're happy. This is the happiness card when it's in the upright position. When it's in the reverse, that means that somebody is not a happy camper. Now, it may not be with a relationship per se, uh, but it could just relate to um, where you're currently staying and it might be environmental uh, energies that are making you, if this is you, uh very unhappy so if it's a dwelling and you're not happy where you live like apartment condo townhouse and there's a you know there's a move a relative move that's uh in place or you want to move uh let's see what else uh, unfolds uh because i feel feel that if there is a move or someone wanting to relocate somewhere else at least with the knight of pentacles is still strong and this is what i said that it could be someone helping you out uh, with some sort of financial assistance and it may be that individual comes along and helps you out it could be a down payment for apartment it could be a down payment uh, for moving expenses or just helping you out in general for moving expenses not necessarily a down payment but whoever this is and because it is the four of wands I don't know if there's a Virgo who's in a relationship with a true fire sign Aries Leo or Sagittarius male or female and it's the fire sign the true fire signs energies and they're not happy uh, about some type of living arrangement or some other type of environmental stuff so let's just see what else uh, unfolds and then we can uh, complete the story all right so the wands of course represent the fire signs if I didn't say that already Aries Leo or Sagittarius male or female okay so here's the conflict so there's the two of swords. It's two of swords energy is showing up because it presents a conflict. It mirrors the uh, sun of pentacles or the knight of pentacles. So that could be representing you. And then here we have the four of wands that's in the reverse. And someone is not happy or conflicted about some type of living arrangement. Or it could be just, you know, like I said before, environmental. Uh, you know, sometimes we live in places where we love where we live, but we the environment is just not conducive to our um, you know, to our spirits. So, and I can relate to that, you know, you can have a beautiful home and you can have a, a beautiful apartment. And, and if the environment, the people who live around you, or if the, you know, streets are full of, you know, trash and, um, stuff like that, that could, that could be a, a you know, a downer. And so, I'm just picking up certain messages that may apply, but there is a conflict here. So it could be a conflict with uh, someone that you're living with. This could be a marriage. And then there's something to do with um, wanting to move, relocate, and it may be based on um, environmental. It could be environmental or it could be the structure of the home or the apartment or wherever, you know, housing that you have. 
somebody is not happy. Okay, so the two of swords shows up here to present some type of anxiety and mental conflict. All right, there's a choice between two. Um, it could be a person, it could be a situation, it could be two places to move, uh, whatever this two of swords in the upright means for you. Also, I've been picking up lately that this two of swords uh, has been coming in as someone being conflicted with their sexuality. So it could be that they're bi and uh, there could be just a mere attraction for same sex. So again, these are just examples. So if they apply, apply. If not, don't worry about it. Two of Swords also could represent an alternative route, meaning that if you um, say you go to work um, a certain payoff every day and then all of a sudden, uh, you know, possibly during this two week period of time, there's a, you know, a change of uh, route. You have to take an alternative route to get to work, get to school or a different take a different path. OK, so this just this is just minor conflict. Um, but it's it's definitely um, related to possibly two things, two situations, maybe two people or it could be just you and another person. So it still would equal out to two. All right. So the swords represent um, those air signs, Gemini. Libra, Aquarius, male or female. So whether or not you're in, um, you know, or if you're dealing with those energies, it doesn't really matter. But I feel that the two of swords, you know, mirroring the um, son of pentacles could represent your energy. And there's a conflict with a person and it could be very well with a um, relationship that is uh, not sitting well with either Virgo or the person that Virgo is with, or there's a conflict of interest uh, in a move or you want to move, relocate. And then there's, um, yeah, that conflict. Mm. All right. So moving right along, coming up after the uh, two of swords, uh, Virgo. Oh, here we go with the Supreme card again. So I have to go straight to the book. To read the message. This is a very powerful card in in terms of its energy. The creator of this deck um, put this in here as an additional card, and it's called the Supreme. And here, when I looked at the card, when I first opened up the deck, and I said, "Oh, this is a pretty star card." It's not the star card. So I will come back. I will come back to that to give you uh, because I have to read that out of the textbook. Because I'm still not familiar, but I want to show you. It's in the upright position. Upright is um, they have a up, yeah, upright meaning and a reverse meaning in the textbook. So I will read to you, Virgo, the meaning in the upright position. But it's a very beautiful card, and I feel that just by looking at it, it's it has to do with a lot of positivity, and it's underneath the Six of Pentacles, your energy. So let's just see what happens. All right, so following the supreme card that has shown up we have the, oh, okay so now we have the ace of wands being the receptor of news or some type of surprise coming forward and coming very very fast all right this is uh the start of something new uh this is a card of inspiration it could be related to business ideals or business um prospects it's right there underneath that night and so something is coming. You could be the receptor of receiving new, good news. And it's also with uh, there might be an element of surprise here. OK, so let's that's interesting. All right. So Ace of Wands, fire sign energy again, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male or female coming up after that Ace of Wands. Now we have. Oh, OK. So now we have the Eight of Cups. Now, look. The Eight of Cups is right underneath that Four of Wands. Somebody is not happy here. This is emotional uh, disappointment or emotional letdown. The Cups represent those relationships. Now, this could be a living arrangement with uh, a romantic partner. It could be a living arrangement with, you know, a friend. It could be a living arrangement with, you know, a uh, Others of the family could be mother, father, could be brother, sister, but somebody here is not happy. And and so I pick that up almost immediately. Whenever this card shows up, the four of wands, it's mean it's meaning for me intuitively that somebody is not happy because this is the happiness card. So if the happiness card is in the upright, that's what it stands for. Someone is happy, someone is enjoying family life, their living arrangements, their environment, but when it's reversed, 
it's all of the uh, reverse, okay, uh, of those things that I had just um, said for what it means in the upright position. Somebody is not happy, and then the clarifier, more or less, would be the Eight of Cups. Emotional disappointment and letdown because somebody is just not happy. Now, this doesn't always mean walking away from a, an emotional situation. You just don't want to deal with it anymore, okay? You're tired of dealing with it. Um, you turn your back on it. But it doesn't necessarily mean that you want to walk away. Cups represent children, cancer uh, energies, uh, as well as Pisces and Scorpio. So it could be a living arrangement with a water sign or any sign for that matter. But I just am picking up intuitively that somebody is not happy uh, with some type of arrangement and it's uh, involving their environment or living status. Okay, so the following card... Um, Coming up after the Eight of Cups in the upright position is, okay, watch your words. Watch your tongue. This is the Five of Swords, Virgo, and she's licking this sword and she's cutting her tongue. So I intuitively picked up immediately that there is some sort of harsh criticism or words that need to be carefully expressed. Um, and more or less like bite your tongue. This is a card of conflict. It's the number five, and it's underneath the two of swords. So that's also uh, energy related to some type of conflict. So I don't know if what I'm feeling that there is a situation when it comes to some type of expression that Virgo needs to uh, relate to another person. So we have the people here. Uh, the Knight of Pentacles and the uh, Page of Pentacles, and you need to express something. But this Five of Swords is to be careful of uh, harsh criticism or watching your words or the expressing yourself to someone because this is a sharp tongue, okay? <laughs> this is a very sharp tongue. Uh, sharp because it's licking that sword and then the blood's coming out. So just be careful about the choice of words. And remember, choice of words and the two of swords is over top and it's a choice of a situation or a conflict of a situation person uh, could be an event. Whatever this energy means for you, this is what's coming up. OK, so I hope I explain that. These energies to you. Well, enough, you do have some positive. You have some very positive cards here. Don't get me wrong. OK, do not get me wrong, because we still have the six of Pentacles. The shadow card is the page. And then I'm about to read the uh, supreme uh, energies for you in a minute. And it's just real. I think it's just more or less like an oracle. Oh, shit. Wait a minute. More or less like an oracle message. Um, so let me just read to you what it means. Virgo. The supreme. And the words are so small, so just bear with me. All is connected. All is you. And at all times, you have the power to connect fully and be your all-powerful self. The Supreme from uh, Stardust, our immortal souls arise, emerge into form. And by destiny or occurrence, just as care as the sight of an eclipse shall ascend a true force. The supreme, her pure intentions are blessed by, yeah, her pure intentions are blessed by the universe as the, as she caresses a journey that moves at the pace of her will. She is guided by her ancestors in merging all her lessons to accomplish her goals. This resilient goddess is at no time defeated. Because she knows she is indeed a true goddess only bound by mortal form and all she wishes at all times is possible. Okay, so further it says here, Virgo, know the power of the supreme is divine. This is a time to accept yourself as the all-powerful goddess that you are. You are, every mo yeah, you are every moment in time, both individually and as a collective history and future by ways of your womb excuse me by ways of your womb hand and mind your desires shall manifest reign as both the creator and the creation for you are 
protected. The universe and all your ancestors are waiting to aid you. All you need is confidence that you are indeed who you are. The Supreme utilize all that you yeah, all that you know intellectually and spiritually to create the internal success you are capable of. And it says here you can do it. Okay, so that's the message for the Supreme. Is like I said before, it's more or less like a um, oracle uh, message. But I decided to keep it in here. Um, and if it shows up, I'll just read it again and give the meaning. So far, it's been showing up in the upright position. So, all right. So we have the Six of Pentacles as your overall energy a gift. You know, giving to others, others giving to you. Possibly an offer of some sort, a job, it could be a relationship. Now, I said something about the cups. Now, I don't like the eight of cups showing up here when it comes to, um, you know, those relationships. Because this is, you know, definitely dealing with relationships. And someone is sour, could be feeling sour or just not happy. It may not be you, but it could be someone who's around you. Uh, but that's the person who's around you is someone who... You would deem as someone significant or very close to you. OK, so we just have to wait and see how the energies unfold for you. And and the only way that I would know is through the comments that come through. All right. So I do appreciate that as long as they're kept clean. All right. So other messages here for you uh, to recap here, Virgo, is to watch your tongue. OK, you, some of you may have a sharp tongue in terms of expressing yourself to another person. The two of swords is the number two so i feel that it's the conflict uh energies that could be related to another person it could also be in relationship to a job or the job that you are working at could be um, a co-worker a family member it could be a romantic partner it could be a friend that you need to be careful about expressing yourself making sure that You are watching the words that come out of your mouth. OK. <laughs> All right. So and then just keep in mind too, the five of swords is potential energy to come. It doesn't uh, stick around that long. Uh, and this is, you know, based on the energy of the two of swords. This is minor, minor conflicting stuff. Um, and it may be just something that's internal and it may not be anything, you know, external uh, in terms of relationships. So it could be something that you're going uh, through internally and then you have to watch you know your your words carefully before you project them onto others so it could go bo uh, both ways but that's what i have for you uh virgo uh i hope it is helpful so from the uh enchanted map oracle deck the card talisman is in the upright now this has been showing up in the reverse but still let you know i shuffle these cards very well <clears throat> And so we have the talisman for you in the upright. And what it says here about the talisman, Virgo, is that wisdom allows you to recognize uh, traps on the road and familiar patterns that you want to avoid. It also enables you to quickly gather information about where you are on your journey. It helps you recognize your allies and know how to find the best routes along the way. Now you're at a place where you know the right things to do and the best choices to make. You really can't commit a mistake. Whatever your inquiry, great fortune awaits you. For you have the wisdom to arrive at the right decision. You've learned your lessons and earned the right to your success. Now, that could be in direct connection to the two of swords as a conflict. The, you know, the uh, card talks about alternative routes. Um lessons to be learned so it's, it's a lot of information that's coming through here all right so that's your reading there virgo um hope it is helpful please be safe always emphasizing that safety and until i talk to you again virgo be well bye